But it wasn't until April of 2017 that this woman called me up who was deeply part of the group for a decade. She's an actress. And she said, I've defected, and I want you to know that your daughter's in trouble and you need to save her. You'd already left this situation. I just took classes. You see, and there's... What were the classes? I mean, was it like self-esteem building? What, what were these classes? Well, they had level one, which was like a 15-day program, and a, a level two. And now that I look back, it was literally a brainwashing funnel to make people submissive and suggestible. And when India became a coach, they encouraged her, and it co at great cost, to take these classes over and over but, well, again. I guess, Catherine, what I'm trying to understand is what were they coaching? Okay. What, what they were saying they were doing was helping you improve your critical thinking skills. What they were really doing was eroding your critical thinking. Without you, They were changing the way you thought without you being aware of it. Were these things that were based in religion of some sort or psychology? What were they? I, I, I would say pop psychology. I'm pretty sure a lot of... Um, a lot, a lot of the information they took from other things, whether it was Landmark, whether it could have been Scientology. I mean, they stole a lot from different places. Um, but I'll give you an example. I mean, it's hard. It, give me an example. I'll give give you an us example. an example. Okay, so one of the classes was called Honesty and Disclosure. And they pose philosophical questions that seem, like, legitimate. And they say, is there ever an ethical reason to lie? And so you think to yourself, well, no. And then they present you with, this situ with an, an, an analogy, and they, and they say, well, if you were in World War II and you were hiding Jews in your basement and Nazis came to the door, would you tell them that you were hiding Nazis in the basement or would you lie? You would them? lie, of course. Lie. This is the beginning of what's called line bending because then they, they switch your loyalty away from your family to them, to Keith Raniere. Would you lie to protect Keith Raniere? So this is the slow drip of indoctrination and it takes years. So you only took classes, your daughter stayed behind. When did you start to hear about illicit behavior, sexual behavior? When this woman called me in April of 2017 and she said, I need to sit down with you and I need to tell you what's really going on. And I didn't know whether I should believe her. She's talking to me about a slave master hierarchy, about my daughter being on a 500 calorie a day diet, sleep deprived. Was your daughter living on a compound with these people? No, you see, this is the thing. There was no compound. They, they had centers all over the world. Mm -hmm. I would say the main center was in Albany, New York, but they lived embedded in communities. So there was like a central office where they took classes, but you would never know it was a cult. So by this point, you are now, someone is sounding the alarm. Yes and it is up to you to investigate and potentially extract your daughter. So your daughter had been in the, the, the cult for how long? I would say by then five years. By five years yeah. in, um, you now are alerted to the fact that she may be in some type of danger. Yes. Did you go to her and ask her? Um, I tried to keep an even keel and I um, d decided that I would bring her back from Albany for a birthday party, which would be really an intervention. So I didn't let on that I knew. At the same time, she was telling me she was having health issues. So on top of knowing what's going on and being told that she, her hair is falling out and she hasn't had a, had a period, I'm now panicking that she's phys, you know, psychologically, physiologically compromised. Trying to pretend that everything is fine was really very hard for that one month of planning. And then on top of that, two days before she came back to LA, I found out that she had been branded. So I With his initials? I lost my mind. Mm. And um, I did the intervention. I failed. You, so what was the intervention like? Well, very different than, an, than a drug intervention, actually. There's no confrontation. It was just you want to awaken their ability to think for themselves. So it's a very gentle line of questioning. And I did everything wrong right. because I panicked. And I said, you're brainwashed and you're in a cult. And her defenses went up. And she got back on a plane and went back to Albany. And that was it. So uh, that was a dark night for me. Of course. Because I thought I'd, I'd lost her to this evil, evil group. And um, my maternal instinct, this primal instinct, kicked in. And I became unstoppable. And when I couldn't get her out, I decided I would have to take down the entire organization.